In my last video, I shared that with the new Filmora 12 Beta, you can now stretch audio. I mentioned something about AI audio stretch. Now, let me show you how AI audio stretch actually works so that it's easier for you to implement that during your video editing. I particularly have used this and I totally, totally love it. Let me show you how that works. So first and first, you want to import your media. So if you don't have your media yet, that's the first thing you want to do. You want to go import your media. So I'm going to go ahead right now. I'm going to bring in, so let me say I bring in, this is my audio here. This is the audio I want to have. And then let me go import a video that I want to edit. So let's say I want to have a video to be edited. Let me look for one tiny video that's not very long. Okay, 19 seconds. Let me look for a video that is very long. Um, so let's say I want to look for a video. This is about 10 minutes. So let's say I want to use this one as my video. Now I'm going to drag my video to my timeline. And by the way, you can simply just add your video to your timeline by clicking on this plus here. So if you click on this plus here, it's going to say the resolution, just go ahead, add it to your timeline. That will be the first one. And then the next thing will be for me to add my soundtrack. Now, if I add my soundtrack, and then I zoom out, you'll notice that the soundtrack is added to the end of the video. But if I move it to the beginning of the video, this is what you get to have here. So this audio here is not as long as the video. Now I'm going to play this here just to give you a sample of what I'm doing here. For this opportunity to contribute to the So if you want to edit your audio, click on your audio, click on the settings here. You can come over here and then you can reduce your audio volume right here this is where to uh this is the new interface for adjusting your audio now so if i drop the audio volume here and i play it again thank you very much for this opportunity to contribute to all right so if that's my audio right there now what you will do is if you want to stretch your audio to have it from the beginning of the video till the end of that video how do you make that happen it's quite simple just come over to where you have this icon now this icon may be found on this part of your screen on this your two sets it may be found anywhere here so if i click on this audio stretch here what you get to have is the your icon changes from an arrow to something like this and then it allows you to literally stretch it out from the beginning to the end and it starts running this audio stretch in progress now that that is done, if you click on play, now I'm going to undo that and I'm, I'm going to play to you the end of the music you to have. And these are the parts that actually really, really resonate with me. Now, when I talk about design thinking, this is what I actually mean. Design thinking is where you are able to discover. So there are four parts here in design thinking. There is discovery, there's define, there's of, of course, it starts with a challenge and then there's a problem definition and then there's an app. You see, that's the end of that right there. So now that that has ended, I'm going to click my audio stretch. I'm going to select my audio stretch now, and then I'm going to stretch it out. You've heard where this song ends. And I'm going to stretch it to the end of my video. Now, the exact same place where it was before, I'm going to play that song right there. So listen now. There is discovery, there's define. There's of, of course, it starts with a challenge and then there's a problem definition and then there's an outcome. In order to go from challenge to problem. Did you see that? It's almost like magic. Now I'm going to move it to the end of the music. Let's listen to the end of the music. Um, help students maximize their journey as new user experience designers. Thank you very much. Once again, I'm Dyer Samuel and I look forward to being a part of the Open Classrooms UX Mentors. As you can hear, it just goes from the beginning to the end of the video right there. You can see it's pretty, pretty intuitive and it's something that I love totally. Now, just to add a little bit of um, tutorial here, in case you are trying to edit your song and you want your song to go from low sound to high sound, this, and if you actually zoom in very well, you'll notice that there is some icon here. you notice there's an icon here, there's an icon here. There's something here and there's something here. I'm going to turn that off. Now you can see that it appears as though something happened here. What that is, it the AI has kind of gone through the audio and then looped the audio for you so that you don't have to now cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste the audio multiple times. Now, let me quickly show you the tutorial I wanted to share with you, which is how to actually control the loudness of your audio 
Now, this is what I typically do. I select my audio from the beginning. I turn this on. I turn this adjustment on. So if you select this adjustment right there, the audio can start from a very high volume. So in order for the audio to start from a high volume, I'm going to type zero here. So the audio is going to start from zero. And then I want the audio to start after a few minutes. It should go down to uh, maybe something like minus 13. So let's reduce it to minus 13. Sometimes I use minus 15. But sometimes it also depends on the audio track itself. Now, let's listen to that transition. You will hear how it goes from a high audio to a low audio. Thank you very much for this opportunity to contribute. So if it's still not very okay, you can come up here and still reduce it. Thank you very much for this opportunity to contribute to... You can see if that seem to work. Thank you very much for this. All right. If you've enjoyed this video so far, remember to like the video. That's my only request from you. Like the video so that more persons can see this video. I'm Dio Samuel once again. I'll see you in another episode.